Jalen Lilly was full of promise. The 16-year-old was on the honor roll in a star swimmer, but in an instant, a classmate armed with a gun took all of that away. The shooting happened back in March at Great Mills High School in Southern Maryland. Jalen's mother wanted to talk about her daughter, so I sat down with her at Great Mills High to remember Jalen. How does it feel today when you walk through these halls? Um, it's just, it's sad to think that she was here and gone and very quickly. Melissa Willie still finds the strength to walk these halls, but she has no choice. She has two kids who go here. I mean, I'm not thrilled about sending them, but they're here, so. Here at Great Mills High School, where she lost her daughter. If Jayla were alive today, she would be 16. Um, she would be a junior at Great Mills, um, and she probably would be picking something to do for her future. She wanted to do um, swimming with special needs children. Amazing, what do you think about that? I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> Many of us remember the morning when shots rang out at Great Mills High. But what we didn't see was the terror in homes across St. Mary's County. There's a school shooting. Where? Where? Here at Great Mills High School. At any point, did you fear that Jalen was Absolutely. Victim? Absolutely. I knew that she was one. You felt it? I, I mean, as soon as I didn't get a hold of her, um, I knew there was something wrong. That morning, a 17-year-old gunman opened fire using his father's Glock semi-automatic handgun. He shot Jalen in the head in the hallway as she was getting ready for class. The same bullet hit another student before the gunman took his own life. When you learn how Jalen's life was taken, what went through your mind? Well, why the heck her? Like, why her? She, <laughs> why her? Just why? You trust that they're gonna go to school and come home and then they don't and that's not good. Jalen's family said goodbye to her two days later when she was taken off life support. What were those two days like for you? Your family? Pretty much a living hell. Just a lot of people, a lot of decisions. Um, just a lot. Jalen's life wasn't taken by a stranger. She knew her attacker. They were classmates turned friends who dated, but Melissa makes it clear they were never in a relationship. Jalen went out with this boy five times. Oh, five times. It was not a long-term relationship. It was not, it was just a few times going out. Did you sense anything about his character or was it just? Yes, just told her he was off. How could you tell? I don't know, mom intuition. Were you surprised that he hurt your daughter? I'm um, not, I, I was disgusted. Right after Parkland happened, I can remember standing in my kitchen on the phone with my brother and said, I cannot imagine what those parents feel like. Jalen was known throughout her community as a happy, easygoing girl with a bright future. She loved school and spending time with family and friends. She was the second oldest of nine and shared a passion with her siblings for swimming. The littlest one, he even still, like, he looks at pictures of her and says JJ, and because um, that's what he called her. When Jalen passed, people in the community wore these green and gold ribbons. They were made by one of the moms in the area. Yeah, the colors are the high school colors, and then the swimmer, she's, it's a girl swimmer. That's Jalen. <laughs> There's also this special silver necklace with Jalen's picture on it. Melissa doesn't go a day without it. Another mom gave it to her the night Jalen would have been at prom. They had it specially made. It's a picture of Jalen. You wear it around your neck every day? Every day. <laughs> yep. You ever look down at it? I can't see it. Oh, well, um, uh, yeah, I can't see it. <laughs> My kids kiss it it's all the time. They kiss her goodnight and they kiss her throughout the day. And Describe what this time has been like for your family. A nightmare? I mean, <laughs> it's just been a really long year. <laughs> happy kid someday, sad kid one day, happy kid an hour, 
you know, it just, it just varies. It depends on who's doing what. How do you cope? Um, I do what I have to do for the kids. What's a memory you have of Jalen that you just hold on to really tight? Um, there's, she, she was just, just, I don't even know. There's so many of them. Um, her laugh, her smile. Don't make me cry. <laughs> a good girl. Very sweet, very happy. Just a good girl. And Melissa, if you're watching, our thoughts and prayers continue to be with your family. Jalen would have been 17 years old on February 24th, and later this month, a swim meet is going to be uh, planned. It's going to help raise money for a scholarship that's going to go in Jalen's name. A memorial will be installed at the school in a few months.